activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. <laughs> You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing, and we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! Wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. We're in the Outback, so let's go find a kangaroo. Oh, hi there, I'm Rooney. What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi Rooney, it's me Blippy, and this is Debo. <laughs> we wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet ya. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Whoa, Rooney's hopping pretty high and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! Look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole. Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look, Debo! This is an acorn! It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely! We have an acorn over here! Nuts! Nuts! I need more nuts! I can't get enough nuts! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is my friend Debo. We found a nut for you. Not? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kind of a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? <gasps> Come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. <sighs> this is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> OK, now watch. OK, do you remember where I just buried 
eat all those acorns? Of course we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, huh? yummy walnut. <laughs> we can't find any acorns. That's right, because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool. And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts and other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky. Bye-bye. <laughs> Keep digging. <sighs> Are you ready, Mika? Yeah, Blippi. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Do you want to have some fun? Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Summer is here, let's go and play. I wonder what fun we'll have today. Let's play catch with a ball and glove. Summer is the season that I love. We can splash in the swimming pool. Come on, Blue, you can join in too. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Game is sun, let's have some fun. Eating ice cream when the weather's hot. Please be careful or it will drop. The crew's eating popsicles, one for me, please. Oh no, watch out! Boom's got a brain freeze. I like two scoops on my ice cream cone for Debo too, instead of a phone. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Oh, hey there, Sun. Hey there, Blippi! When you're shining, it's so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, how do you shine so bright? Well, I'm actually a big ball of gas, which creates a lot of energy, both heat and light. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, upload answer, Debo, and let's go. <laughs> Driving around in the Blippi Mobile, me and Debo behind the wheel. Fun in the sun, playing on our speakers. Wind in our hair and feeling the beat, yeah. Summer is my favorite time of year. The sun shines bright and the sky is clear. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. This is so much yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. We can dig the pool with hey, our hey, excavator. Hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey there, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Game is sun, it's been so fun. Bye bye to Nate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi Wonders. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, time for bed. Aw, but we're having so much fun. Hmm. I wonder, why do we have to sleep? Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Benjamin and Debo. Well, hello there. 
Are we all ready for a bedtime story? Not yet. We need to go through my bedtime checklist first. Pajamas? Yeah! Check! Brush teeth? <laughs> Check! Okay, Mr. Book. We're ready. Ooh. Our slumber saga begins with two familiar friends looking for fun and adventure. Ribbit! That sounds like Debo! Oh, no! <laughs> it is Debo! We gotta save him! Blippi and Benjamin to the rescue! Whoa! Our heroes could not begin their adventure without a good night's sleep. <sighs> Maybe we should rest first. <sighs> good idea, Blippi. They soon found that sleep gave them the energy to scale any obstacle, however mighty. Wow! I feel great! Look out, mountain! Here we come! They danced. <laughs> and they leapt. Until they reached the top of the mountain. Hmm. We're coming, Debo! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa! whoa. That was a close one. <sighs> Maybe if we push the boulder in the hole, we can walk across it. But the energizing effects of sleep were starting to wear off. <laughs> it's no use. Maybe we should rest. Our daring duo woke up with rested minds and strengthened bodies. I feel stronger. Look, we grew bigger too. <laughs> All right. But there was one more obstacle for our duo to tackle. Hi, Bella. Would you mind moving so Debo can get down? I don't want to move. I'm grumpy. I think Bella needs a nap. Let's all take a nap. Okay, fine. I feel great. Me too. That nap made me happy. Woohoo! Time to hula hoop! <laughs> that day, Blippi and his friends learned that sleep is the secret ingredient to happiness. <laughs> wow! That was awesome! And I got the answer to my question. <gasps> Why do we have to go to sleep? Because it gives you energy makes you big and strong, and makes you happy, too. Upload answer, Debo. Good night, Blippi, Debo, and Benjamin. Sleep tight. I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, there's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm going to need a rocket booster. Rocket booster confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up! <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to outer space. I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! That is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on. 
on. Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa! We should go! We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune. Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi Wonders. <laughs> this is going to be the best English feast ever. I can't wait to make all my favorite foods from London, England. Uh-oh. Are you okay, Tabs? Whoa, Tabs, you look like a knight. Hmm, I wonder, what was it like to be a knight in shining armor? Great idea, Tabs. We can go back in time to medieval London and find out. <laughs> Going back in time! <laughs> Halt! Who goes there? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Are you a knight? Sir Buttercup, loyal knight of Her Majesty's kennel. So cool! Can you show us what a knight does? Of course! I was just about to test the castle's defense system, which helps keep it safe. My counterpart, Sir Pudding, will be assisting. All right! Fire when ready! Whoa! Was that a tomato? Probably! The catapults are loaded with rotten fruit to fire at anyone who approaches the castle! Take cover! Look out! Oh. Who turned out the lights? <gasps> are you okay? Yes! My armor is made of steel and can protect me from the most severe of boo-boos. Good job, Sir Pudding! <laughs> For this next test, we will need to be very careful. Follow me! <laughs> <laughs> Slowly now, the moat is filled with terrible oh. creatures so that intruders can't get across. Oh, terrible creatures? They could attack at any moment. <laughs> you mean the little ducks? Oh, yes. Whoa! Yikes! Mm, a doggy dish. Sir Pudding must be hungry. But how can we get inside? The castle walls are built very high to keep intruders out. I've got an idea. Follow me. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Whoa, an English feast. I can see why you were protecting the castle. Oh, Sir Pudding, what a wonderful idea. Thank you for your help. I declare you Sir Blippi and Lady Tabs. Wow, what an honor. And I got the answer to my question. What was it like to be a knight in shining armor? It was awesome! Knights protected their castle and kept everyone safe. Upload answer tabs. Farewell! Bye bye Sir Buttercup. Whoa! 
What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm. I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the racetrack? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain, do your thing. You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do. My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi. Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! Race you to the ball pit. Okay, Blippi. Paddle ball activate. <laughs> Whoa! Silly somersaults. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was totally awesome, Debo. <laughs> Huh? <gasps> Is that a puppy? I love puppies! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo and Blue. What's your name? <laughs> Lily! What a cute name! Great idea, Lily! <laughs> Blippi, Lily wants you to throw the ball for us. Okay, Lily and Blue, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Go fetch! <laughs> Look at how fast Lily's tail is wagging. Hmm, I wonder, why do dogs wag their tails? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Debo's broken. <sighs> Oh no! Lily 
she's probably scared. Debo, try giving her a treat. Now hold out your paw so she can sniff you and know you're a friend. Yeah, Lily! All better. Do you want me to throw the ball again? She's so excited! Ready, go, fetch! Oh, she's so happy! Too hard, Blue! Oh no, is Debo okay? <laughs> Debo, you're all better! Hugs? <laughs> Not so hard, Blue. Good girl, Lily. Good girl. She's so cute. Hugs? Be gentle, Blue. Oh, yes, right. Hey, look at how fast her tail is wagging. Yeah, dogs wag their tails as a way of showing emotion, like fear or, or excitement. <laughs> Just like my antennas glow different colors for all my different feelings. I got the answer to my question. Why do dogs wag their tails? Dogs wag their tails to show emotions like fear or excitement. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? <laughs> Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and get a closer look. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hmm, even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? Huh? I am the amazing Ernie! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing. Come see, it's the best show in town. The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark. Cool. Oh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Huh? I got it. Phew. That was close. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? 
You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Grab the eraser on the paper enough. And boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa, look at that, Tabs! It's an adorable kitty cat! <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers! Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs! Let's follow that kitty cat and find out! I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Streaking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? What was that? Hey, it's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry. Follow me. Wait for me. Yeehaw! Woo! Flawless. How do you land so perfectly? My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. We must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? I'm happier than a pig in mud. What a great adventure, Kipley. We found the treats. And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye-bye, Kipley. Thanks, Bliffy. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all. Okay, Babble. I spy with my little eye something that starts with J. Plenty of sea creatures start with J. Jackfish, jelly nose fish, even jewelfish. Not now, Tabs. I'm looking for a jayfish. Oh, it's jellyfish. <laughs> okay, Tabs. Your turn. I 
spy. A dolphin! Listen! She's trying to communicate with us. Hmm, I wonder. How do dolphins communicate? Here we come, little dolphin. Ooh. Whoa! It's so murky. It's murky and hard to see because of all the sand floating in the water. Whoa! Look out! Whoa! Uh-oh! <laughs> hey there, Blippi. Oh, hey, Larry. This is Babble and Tabs. Sorry we bonked into you. That's all right. It's all this sand floating around. Well, I'm off to get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. How can the dolphins see in this murky water? Think, think, think. Oh, I know. The dolphin is using echolocation. Echo what? Echolocation. It's how some animals like dolphins and bats See objects by reflecting sound off them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need echolocation. Echolocation confirmed. Incredible. Amazing. Awesome. We should try making clicks like the dolphin. Look. The sound waves from the clicks are bouncing off the objects and coming back to us with information about how far and how big the objects are. Hey, there's the dolphin. We found her. Wait, come back. I didn't get to say hello. That's it. The dolphin is using a signature whistle to tell you her name. Try mimicking her signature whistle to call her back. All right. She understood me! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs and Babble. I think she wants to know your signature whistle so she can say your name in her language. Hmm, how about... Wow! What an amazing underwater adventure! And I got the answer to my question. How do dolphins communicate? Dolphins communicate with their signature whistles and chirps. And they can also use clicks to navigate and tell what's ahead. Upload answer tabs. Yes, precisely, correct. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> what a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm, I wonder, how do you make bubbles? <laughs> Great idea. We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Ready for adventure! The bubbles are from the car wash! Let's give it a wash! Hi! Oh, good boy! I'm Marvin, Marvin Bubbly! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second! Are you a pop star? Oh. <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoopsies! The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo a doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me... Let's make some more bubbles! And I know just the fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water Get them sized up on the soap Make a circle with your hands and blow Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Upload answer, Devo! <laughs> Bye-bye, Marvin! Bye-bye, Blippi! Bye-bye, everyone! Wow! Look at those birds! Oh! Wow! Look at all these animals we're finding! Maybe we'll find the king of the jungle next! That's not the king of the jungle. King of the jungle? Wait, are, are you looking for a lion? Well, there's not really any lions in the jungle. You gotta go to the savanna for that. Out there! Hmm, I wonder. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Whoa! <laughs> lion! Cool! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. Hello, Blippi and Tabs. I'm Jabari, the king of the jungle. I was just sharpening my kingly skills on the lion obstacle course. The lion obstacle course? That's so cool. Would you like to train with me? If you complete the course, I'll make you honorary lions. Yeah! <laughs> Our first lesson is here, where you will learn to sneak like a lion. Sneak like a lion. Got it. Shh. Not so loud, Blippi. You will scare off the prey. The prey? The prey is the butterfly. Oh, I get it. Sneaky. Ow! <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Yeah! Let's try the next lesson. Jumping! Crouch down and feel your energy. Then, when you are ready, release the energy and jump! Are you ready, Tabs? Jump like a lion! Yes! Great job! Now there's one more lesson. Hop on my back and hang on tight! Yay! Ooh. Welcome to the Roaring Arena! To roar like a lion, follow along. First, find your power. Lift up and roar! Way to go, Blippi and Tabs! You are now honorary lions. Roar! Thanks, Jabari. We had so much fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Even though lions are called king of the jungle, they actually live on the savanna. Lions are sneaky hunters, big jumpers, and have really loud roars. Upload answer tabs. See you next time we're in the savanna, Jabari. Goodbye, Blippi and Tabs. Come back and roar with me anytime. Uh. Ooh, whoop.
burps. <laughs> Excuse me. That was a big burp, Flippy. Hmm, I wonder, why do people burp? Ho oh, ho, I can tell you, but it's more fun to show you. Off to the nearest mouth. All right, I'm gonna need frog legs. Frog legs confirmed. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Open wide! Whee! <laughs> this is perfect! He's chewing way too fast! Following. Whoa! Well, that was fun. Debo, you can open your eyes now. I think it's over. Here we go again! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna need monkey arms. Monkey arm confirmed. Whoa! 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 What's that? It's called the esophagus. We all have them. It's a long tube that connects the throat to the stomach. Woo! Esophagus. That's a fun word. E -soph -a -gus. <coughs> Whoa! He's coughing up a storm. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are ideal conditions for a big old... So cool! Careful! The bubble's delicate and can explode at any moment! <laughs> yes, Cannon! Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> oh, yeah! The bubble is all the extra air that this guy swallowed! It's like a trampoline! Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh oh! Too much bouncing! It's gonna blow! Whoa! The air bubble is rising up the esophagus and toward the mouth. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Experiment complete. <laughs> that was so fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why do people burp? People burp when they swallow too much air and it builds up inside the esophagus. The body gets rid of the air by burping. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. I think it's time to dance. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Let's boom cha cha with boom. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa, that is a big bear. It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Nice hula hoop moves you got there. I'm Bella the Bear. Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no. I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm going to have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. 
I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast. <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella, don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie do. Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right. We're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Nice work, Flippy. <laughs> well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles! The bear version of a big comfy blanket. Oh, thanks! That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder. How many teeth does a shark have? <laughs> Great idea, Debo. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller. Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Oh, hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello. I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow, what a great friendship. Whoa, someone called the Tooth Fairy. Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> oh, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa, another tooth on the loose. That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. They're 
there can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> Bless you! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives! <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi! Don't forget the boss! <laughs> Hey, it's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. Wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm. I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here, hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. Oops, sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, was that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Got a dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha, uh -huh, which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer, Tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all I can eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace. Thanks. Cheers, Blippi. I'm in the lead. Ah, baby chick straight ahead. Change course. Silly somersault. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Tabs. Hi, I'm Penelope. Can you help me? I think I'm lost. Good question, Tabs. I wonder. How can we help Penelope find her way home? What's the last thing you remember, Penelope? All I remember is following a rainbow leaf. And now I'm here. Great thinking, Tabs. We should shrink down to Penelope's size so we can see things like she does. Shrinking down! Look! Penelope's footprints! Let's retrace her steps. <laughs> I found you, Rainbow Leaf! Hey, 
and Penelope. Wait for us. <laughs> it's so squishy. <laughs> Penelope, that's a butterfly. <laughs> a butterfly? Oh. Penelope, does any of this look familiar to you? Um, no. But I do remember a forest of yellow suns. Blippi, look! That's it! Oh, you mean yellow sunflowers, Penelope. Penelope? Uh. <laughs> 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 it's so... We made it! Mini celebration dance! Can you see your house from here, Penelope? No, but I remember something. A field of black and white clouds. I hear cows mooing over there. Oh, Penelope, those aren't black and white clouds. They're cows. <laughs> oh! That looks like fun! Yahoo! <laughs> Come on! The cows are this way. That looks fun! Hey, Tabs! Tag! You're it! Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> oh, wow! Woohoo! And I got the answer to my question. How can we help Penelope find her way home? We helped Penelope find her way home by using our eyes and ears to observe the environment around us. Upload answer tabs. Ooh, a fuzzy, fuzzy, wuzzy. <laughs> Bye, Penelope. 